everyone, it's your girl Benny of Will Benny's Kitchen. Welcome back to my channel. How are you all guys doing? Because I'm doing so great here. So today we are preparing this yummy cocoyam soup. On the table, I have what it takes to prepare our cocoyam soup. I have my salt fish head, my dry fish, prawn, salt, cube, ogiri sea, then crayfish, garnet crayfish, then pounded cocoyam, perinkle, pepper, oil, uziza leaf, and ugu leaves. We are going to be using um, goat meat, snail, cow leg, shaki, which is the cow tribe, and then other orishirishi in the pot. The meat is already in the pot cooking. So now I'll just slice my vegetables while I wait for the meat to get uh, cooked. So the scissor leaf is thoroughly washed to take out the sand. So I'll just slice it now. This soup doesn't take so much time to prepare. If you have already prepped everything you are going to use in cooking the soup. I'm done with the zizza leaf, so I will now slice the ugu, the pumpkin leaves. After cutting the leaf, I'll wash the fish and throw it into the pot so it can cook with the meat. I always like adding ogirisi because it gives it this native taste. But if you don't like it, you can skip that. So I'm done slicing the ugu leaves. I'll take the fish to the sink and wash. You have to wash the fish thoroughly because of sand and then ants. So you don't find ants in your soup when you are eating. You can even use warm water if you have to use warm water to wash the fish so it will kill the ants. So after washing the stock fish, I'll throw it into the pot so it will be a bit tender because it's a bit um, hard so i'm done washing the fish now and i'll take it into the pot so this is the meat that is boiling we have shaki, cow tribe, we have goat's meat, we have goat's leg, we have snail, there's snail in here, there's goat's meat, and there's beef in here. So I'll add the fish and the stock fish head to cook for some time. The meat was almost cooked, so I'll leave it for like five minutes now. Let the stock fish head get tender a bit before I'll continue. 
so guys this is after five minutes and i'm back to check our soup so you can see it's boiling so i'll add the other ingredients i'll add some water to top it a bit i'll add cameroon pepper i'm adding the crayfish bouillon cube dried prawn then i'll add our ogirisi this is the spice ogirisi i'm adding now see it yogiri i'll just take little and add for flavor i'll add some oil I'll stir everything. Then I'll add the thickener. This is cocoyam. Can use the powdered cocoa yam that has been processed but this one i boiled it and i pounded it so i will now cover it for it to dissolve so that the soup will be thick if the thickness is okay for you you cannot remove the remaining one that hasn't uh, dissolved so i'll cover the pot now see what we have here oh oh the aroma in here is something else so i will add the perinco because it doesn't take time to cook then i'll add some salt to taste i don't want it to be too thick neither do i want it to be too watery so the way it is is just perfect so I'll test for salt and pepper, then if it's not okay, I'll adjust it. Ah, okay. The salt is okay, very, very okay. So I'll add our ugu leaf now. Then the uziza leaf. I'll just stir it, stir the pot of soup. Then I like to cook for two minutes and I'll turn off the heat because I don't want the leaf to be overcooked. So oh boy. Please, if you have not liked this video, keep liking, keep watching, oh please. And if you are passing by, please subscribe. And if you have been following me, thank you so very much. Wow, you can see the soup. This is just too perfect just too perfect coco yam soup coco yam soup let me test for salt again okay i think i'll add more because of the leaf i added or just add little this should be okay and we are good to go you can take this with any swallow of your choice, any fufu, oatmeal, apple, coconut flour, cabbage flour, pounded yam or gari. Hmm, this soup is eh? So it's okay now and I'll turn off the heat.